Sir. Yeah, um, a Apple certainly has a tradition of um, introducing new technologies that become standards, but lately Apple seems more apologetic about being different than it is proud about being different. And as a developer, you start to feel the same way. And I just wonder, you know, 13 years after introducing the Macintosh, um, what Apple can do? What well, Apple can do to get its balls back? Yeah, I got to tell you, I, I have a little different point of view on that. Um, I think Apple's had its head in the sand for the last many years. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there is. There has been so much that's happened in terms of network computing, as an example, that Apple's completely missed out on. <clears throat> the Mac is probably one of the least network computer communities in the world in terms of really making use of powerful networks. I mean, like when, when Next joined Apple, right? Next has an extremely sophisticated network infrastructure for doing network computing compared to Apple. And, you know, even now we struggle getting the Apple folks to understand it because the Mac has been, because of all this proprietariness in every way, because of the attitude of arrogance that we can not only invent our own networking, but invent our own this and invent our own that and invent our own this. It, it, it's, it's in its own little world. And the rest of the world, with so much investments, passed it by. And so we need to bring the Mac up into the modern world in many areas like network computing. And to do that, because we weren't first, because we didn't set the standards and they've already been cast in stone, we're going to have to use them. So I think the wisdom here is not to say that we've got to invent everything ourselves. The wisdom here is to know what 10% or 20% or 30% probably at most of the stuff we have to invent and what we should go use that exists. We didn't invent PostScript, did we? We got a laser writer out of it. And we were the first out there with the laser writer. So I think this whole notion of, of being so proprietary in every facet of what we do has really hurt us. And again, the management and the vision that we had encouraged that. Encouraged people to go, you know, reinvent the wheel out there our own way. And yeah, it might be 10% better, but usually it ended up being about 50% worse uh, because of, there's a lot of smart people that don't work at Apple too. Well, the only other thing I'd like to add is that I think it's important that Apple be perceived as different because if Apple just says, we're just like everybody else but better, that, that really doesn't say anything at all. Yeah, no, I don't think it's good that Apple's perceived as different. I think it's important that Apple's perceived as much better. And if, that, if, if being different is essential to doing that, then we have to do that. But if we could be much better without being different, that'd be fine with me. I want to be much better. I don't care about being different. We'll have to be different in some ways to be much better. But that's, that's the prize. Wouldn't you agree? I yeah. would agree, but I think no. Apple, needs to, Apple needs to articulate those differences as well. And, and I guess the goal is to be better, but um, for the general public, it has to be a whole lot better before it's noticed. And right. it, has to be whole, it has to be in some ways different. It has to be a whole lot better. <laughs>